Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm going to share with you guys an easy and beautiful fall DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For the first project, we're going to be using this wood jar that I got at TJ Maxx. It only cost me $2 and I really love it because I was thinking to do something really great for this jar. So the first thing, I decide to cover the letters. I think it's way better to just to use like a piece of some paper. So I just did two coats of the Bristolian paint and I just put it to a side and let it dry. I'm going to be using this beautiful fruit printable that our talented friend Heidi Sambo she shared with us. I will link it down below in my description box below the video so you guys can print these beautiful free printables. So I just put my free printables on the bottom and the jar on the top and I just trace it and I just cut it with my scissors and once I cut the beautiful image I'm gonna use this mud patch that I got from Dollar Tree and I just did one coat and I'm gonna place my my image on the top also I went over on the back of that image so it won't have that many wrinkles once I place it and it works amazing this technique and once I place that image with my hands I just went over and smooth a little bit the image and I decide to do another cut or mark patch on the top so it can seal really well the image and I just put it to a side and let it dry completely and I just want to take a moment to mention that today we're taking part in the fall collab that is being hosted by the Macy Liana from Liana DIYs. And we have three talented co-hosts for this month. We have Lenny from Crafty Lenny and also Brenda from Rustic and Lace. And also we have Catherine, a perfect place to start. And all these talented friends that are participating with us. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up thank you so much and once it's completely dry i decided to distress it a little bit on the edges it was too clean and i didn't like it so to distress it i went over with that waverly anti-wax and i just went especially in the edges because they had so much details on the jar so i'm like let's distress it a little bit and it turned out amazing i'm gonna do on the other side another project so we can have two side project i just decided to create three lines and i grabbed my pencil and I mark it the lines twice or three times. I love to trace my lines twice because it's more easy once I grab a piece of paper towel and I go over and distress it. It works amazing and also you guys can use the color pencils. I did that technique before and it works too. Once I'm done I decide to do the same thing. I went over to distress it a little bit more on the edges and here's the other option that I have. I'm going to be using this beautiful napkins that I got from my Dolly Tree and I really love them and I just grab a piece of that napkin and I just put one cutter mud patch and I place my image and I went over with the same brush and it smoothed a little bit any wrinkles any bubbles that I had under you know you cannot do it with your hands to kind of like smooth the wrinkles on the bubble because it's a piece of paper napkin and it will rip really easy so that's the reason why I use the brush and once I was done I went over and I just did another cut on the top so it can seal really well the napkin on the top. The next thing we're going to be using I grab a piece of this burlap fabric. I'm not sure what to call it you know. So I just cut a piece and I just place it on the top and I decide to glue it a little bit just on the edges so I can hold it you know. And I grab a piece of that jute twine and I just wrap it around so it can hold it way better and I just use a little bit of the glue so it can hold it on place and I just cut it with my scissor the remain piece and also I just kind of like cut it on the side because there were these long pieces on that burlap fabric you know and I didn't like it and I just kind of like cut it and make it a little bit smaller i'm pretty sure you guys can see what i did also i just create a simple bow and i just place it 
on one side and I decided to grab just one yellow button because it was missing something else on the top of that bow and I didn't like it you know and I grabbed just a few pieces of that raffia and I just placed it on the side and it gives so much detail once I place that raffia I just love it on the other side I just create a simple bow made of that jute twine and I place it on the side and also I just grab another beautiful yellow button and it was a touch didn't need I just love it so much and I'm pretty sure you guys can recreate this beautiful project because I saw Dollar Tree is carrying these beautiful jars and you guys can create a two side project or you guys can just create it one project at a time you know please let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a favorite for this one For the next project, I'm going to be using this small wood tags that I got from Dollar Tree. They come to in a pack and the first thing I did, I removed the image and to paint it, we're going to be using this apple barrel paint on color ivory and first I did a coat and I just let it dry a little bit and I went over again with the same paint just to cover in a few parts and I just put it to a side and let it dry completely and also I just paint the edges and once it's completely dry I decide to create three lines on the top so it can has a little bit of detail this beautiful pumpkin that we're going to create so I just traced my line twice and with the paper towel I just went over and distress it a little bit and to give more detail on the pumpkin I decided to use the Waverly anti-wax and I just went in a few parts and I just distress it I'm gonna be using this beautiful free printable that I found on Pinterest. It had like a pumpkin, but I just used the pumpkin to create a project and I didn't use the words. I'm gonna do my best to try to link it down, you know, that link where I found this beautiful printable. So I just cut the letters and I just used a little bit of Mod Patch to place the letters. And also I did another cut on Mod Patch on the top so it can hold really well the letters on the top. And also, I think it's easy to, you know, just to use like a stencil from Dollar Tree. Or you guys can use like the sticker letters too, you know. I think it will work just perfect. And I just put it to a side so it can dry really well. I'm going to be using this nautical rope. And I'm just going to create like a hanger. And I just cut a piece. And once I cut it, I'm just going to glue it the pieces together you guys can see how i glue it and also with the same piece of that nautical rope i just wrap it around a few times i'm just using a little bit of the hot glue so i can hold it on place and with the remain piece i just cut it and also with the lighter i just use it so we can give more details to that nautical rope and it looks amazing already I'm going to create a messy bow and for that I'm going to be using these beautiful ribbons that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a few pieces and I just place all the pieces together and once I place them I just grab a piece of the jute twine and I just tie it really well all the pieces together.
and once i'm done with the same piece of the jutoin i just gonna tie it on the top of the hanger you guys can see how i put it you know and i just tie it really well and i just put a little bit of the hot glue so it can hold it also i create another raffia bow and i just place it on the top and it looks amazing already i decided to grab a few pieces of the jingle black so it can stand up this beautiful pumpkin i want it for my tear tray but you guys can just hang it on the wall you know because it had the hanger you know and that's the only thing that i did for this adorable pumpkin i just love the color and it goes really well with the bow that we put you know on the top but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this other project For the next DIY, I'm going to be using this beautiful wood leaf that I got from Dollar Tree and I just used a little bit of the spackling to cover the hole. And to paint it, I'm going to be using this deco art paint. It's kind of like light gray. It doesn't have the name of the colors. So I just did one coat and I just paint also the edges of the leaf and also on the back and I just let it dry really well. The next thing we're going to be using this beautiful garland that I got from Dollar General. And it's really beautiful. I love the colors and I decide not to remove that letter A because it was just perfect to put it on the top, you know, the leaf. It holds really well. And also I just can remove the leaf, you know, whenever I'm done with the decor. But I really love it how it turns out. And I just create a simple bow and I just place it on the top. I'm gonna be using this Revlon transfer stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be using the word gather and I just place it on the middle and once I place it I also did a cotton mat patch on the top so it can hold it you know really well the sticker and I decide to use a little bit of the anti-wax just to give more details on the edges of the leaf and also I create another simple raffia bow and I just place it on the top I really love it how it turns out it's really beautiful if you guys don't have this is exactly garland you know you guys can just recreate it with some wood beads from Dollar Tree it's really simple and easy project to recreate but please let me know what do you guys think For the last project, we're going to be using a piece of wood that I had on hand. You guys can grab just like any piece of wood that you guys have. Or you guys can just grab a piece of wood from Dollar Tree. And to paint it, we're using again this beautiful color Deco Art on color grade. I really love it, the color. So I just did one coat and I just let it dry. I also paint on the bottom and also on the back. We're going to be creating two side projects. The other thing that I decide to do, I just kind of like create this kind of hole on the middle so I can place my pumpkin and it has a little bit of more of support because I think it was just not okay just to place the pumpkin and I will show you in a minute how we're going to place it. So I decide to create these beautiful half wood beads but they're made of hot glue. I just love it and all the details that it gives just to any wood sign or piece of wood anything you know and once i'm done i decide to paint it with the same paint you know and once they're completely dry i went over with the 
Waverly anti-wax to distress it and give a little bit more of the effect of the wood beads and also I did it on the other side too because I mentioned that we're doing two side projects for this beautiful pumpkin so the same thing that I did on the front I did it on the back and I just distress also the piece of wood so it can blend everything together if you guys don't want to distress the piece of wood you guys can just leave it how it is that a beautiful color The next thing we're going to be using this metal pumpkin. I'm pretty sure you guys see it at your Dollar Tree. And I had it for a really long time and I really love the image. But the color of the pumpkin, I didn't like it. So I decided to paint it. I'm going to be using the Deco Art Paint on color gray. And I'm just going to cover all the edges of the pumpkin. I first did one coat and it didn't cover it really well the orange. It had an under. So so once it was dry, I went over with a second coat and it was just perfect with the second coat because it covered really well the orange part. And I think right now, you know, I think it's way easy just to cover the image with a few pieces of the painter's tape. And I think it's way faster. But at the moment, I was too relaxed. I'm not sure what I was listening, you know. And also on the back, I painted two and I did two coats and I just put it to aside and let it dry really well. I'm going to distress the pumpkin a little bit. It was too clean for me to be honest. So I used the Waverly Anti-Wax and I went over just in a few parts. It turned out beautiful, this pumpkin. I love it so much once I distress it. And also on the back, I'm going to use again the same paint. But I'm just using especially on the edges, you know. So it can pop a little bit more all the details on the pumpkin. And also on the middle, I just went over just to do the details and it was just amazing with the anti-wax but right now I'm thinking you know like you can use like color pencils or just a pencil you know and I think it will work just perfect too I'm going to be using these metal words that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the word harvest and I'm going to be just using hot glue to glue it. I think it's way better for permanent hole to use E6000. I'm going to be using a little bit of the E6000 to glue the pumpkin so it can have a permanent hole with a little bit of the hot glue and I just placed the pumpkin. Do you guys see why I decided to make that kind of like hole? hole in the middle because it holds really well and I just reforce it with a little bit more of the hot glue on each side and I create just a simple bow made of that jute twine and I just place it on the top and it was really simple and easy project to create but it has really high end look this pumpkin I love the color and it looks amazing in my house but please let me know in the comments down below with all the projects that I create for you guys which one it was your favorite And please don't forget to see all the videos that all these talented friends that they're participating with us today. Thank you so much, Liana, for hosting this wonderful collab. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.